morning. How's everybody? Good. All right. So you enjoying this day today out of class? Yes. <laughs> no, the fire department's better than school, right? Yes. That's what I'm talking about. So um, once again, I'd like to thank all our partners for coming out. Uh, Donald Carr, Joe Flores, I'm sorry, Joe Comas, uh, Miss Mayhee Lung, Miss Ferguson, and Miss Tellis. Thank you all for coming out. This is a great partnership. I think it's important for us to partner to get the information about how to have a safe holiday. <coughs> and Christmas is right around the corner. And here's the time to make sure we know the steps to take in order to be safe. What I think you may not be aware of is that for the over the past 25 years, the University of Pennsylvania has generously uh, purchased tree tags for the fire department. And those tree tags go out to the community and they get put on these trees when they're sold and it helps to remind everyone how to treat their trees safely so that we can have a safe Christmas. Again, Lowe's. I um, want to thank Joe Crescenza from Lowe's. Thank you, Joe. Um, Again, those that donated a tree so that we can do this demonstration to help everyone be safe. A little later, I'm going to go through the process so you can see it step by step, and then you can duplicate it at home. Although Christmas tree fires don't occur on a common, on a regular basis, when it does occur, it can be one of the most dangerous fires around because of this tree is a combustible source. On an average, one out of every reported Christmas tree fires in homes results in a death. That's why this is important. On an average, uh, one out of every 142 home structural fires results in a death, a death. So you can see the difference. One out of 40, one out of 142. So this is important. If you do have a Christmas tree fire, it can be very fatal. So we want you to make, we want you to practice safety. So here are some tips. When you put your tree up, make sure you don't put it close to anything that's an open source. If you have portable heaters, don't put it close to your portable heaters. Radiators, don't put it close to your radiators and dry your tree out. When you purchase your tree, try to purchase your tree as close to Christmas as possible because it lives longer and it's going to be more vibrant. You want to make a one inch cut at the base and you want to make sure you sit that in your tree stand and you want to fill your tree stand with water. What's really important to remember is, if you don't water your tree, we may have to. <laughs> and you don't want us to have to water your tree. And you want to check that water level every single day. Make sure that you check it every day, that it has enough water, and it's going to keep your tree fresh longer. If you have any uh, lighting, make sure your lights are new. If you have your lights for over 10 years, it's time to purchase some new lights. We all like to put lights on our tree to make it nice and pretty with the bulb. Make sure your lights are new. Make sure you buy underwriter laboratory approved lighting so that we know that it's safe. And never leave your lighted tree unattended. So when you go to the mall to shop for those presents, make sure you unplug your lights. And we don't want you to make, we don't want you to place your tree in front of exits and stairways. So if for some reason you do have a fire, you have to be able to get out quickly. So don't block any exits don't block any stairway. So for the most part, today's goal is to have a, make a nice, fire safe Christmas holiday. So at this time, I'm going to demonstrate how to prepare your tree. Safety goggles, right? Make sure nothing gets in your eyes. Gloves. Handy saw. So, one inch, not much at the base. You're going to take your saw and cut. Go. And once again, make sure you fill your stand with plenty of water after you put your tree in there. And I want to remind you, 
If you don't water your tree, we may have to.